Hello everyone, getting ready. Tomorrow I'm going on quite the adventure. We are gonna be floating down the Jordan River. I just wanted to show you what I'm working with here. This is a seven by seven foot bote um, floaty that we're gonna pump up. And there's gonna be four of us. It's gonna be Mia, her dad Dave, and his girlfriend Amy. And we're gonna have a good time. I just wanna show you what I'm rigging up. So this is a blue ribbon trout river so i'm just hooking one of these up for tomorrow this is the old go-to i don't know how well this sucker's gonna do because it is seven by seven feet and the river is pretty shallow and pretty thin but i'm not telling anybody that just in case it's a huge disaster i just want the optimism to be really high New character unlocked. <laughs> All right, Mia, hop on. Amy, you got the paddles. They're stuck on that water. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Mia, why don't you show what we're working with here? Okay. Yeah, sprinkling Bow tie. Bit. Whoa. It's a huge one, too. <laughs> Everybody covered? Mia, you need to be a better camera woman. New character unlocked. It's so funny. It's easier just to push, I think. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You just hit my head. We're on the maiden voyage. Whoa. <laughs> it's raining. And we're still figuring out how to bounce. <laughs> but you are knock on wood, the boat is holding up pretty well. Knock on. Got some pretty houses. Knock on boat There's a dip. Oh. Water. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was fun. You can see the mist on here. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, see them, Mia? Where? See it? Are oh, yeah, it? it's so cute. They're really beautiful. Let me see if I can't hook onto one. What is it? Little brown trout. <laughs> oh, Jason. Oh, sacre bleu. <laughs> no, that's done. What are you going to do? Got to go get it. Uh oh. Woo. Yikes. <gasps> oh, Jason! My goodness. <gasps> well, there's a positive in all this. I can tie a really good knot. <laughs> Oh wow, look, it even cut me. <gasps> Are you okay? <gasps> Jason, I'm worried about you. <laughs> All right, we've made it off. The bote did well. I don't see any. Damage on the bottom? No. 
right here maybe a puncture wound almost or I don't know what that's from not too shabby now now this this is the craziest part right here You might be asking yourself why I showed you that video of us floating down the Jordan River. Well, I kind of wanted to give you a glimpse of the potential that this building has uh, to be such a fun spot. As you can see, we butt up to the Jordan River and if you kept floating, uh, you would eventually hit us. People love going down the Jordan River. It's crystal clear waters, great trout fishing and it's just a lot of fun. You can float down it, you can fish down it, you can take your kids down it. It's just good for all ages, and it's really, really beautiful. But you might be wondering, well, what's happening with this building? It looks the same, and you'd be right. We have been working really hard, just not in here. It's, uh, we got a guy who's gonna lease it out. He's working on his marketing, and all of his good stuff, getting all the liquor license figured out. And we have an awesome contractor and builder who want to take on the job, and they're getting their stuff ready. They're getting their blueprint, their blueprints ready to go. And hopefully this fall they'll start construction. One thing I wanted to point out to you guys, <sighs> make sure, I mean this is a little, it can be really overwhelming. This used to be a garage, obviously, and now we want it to be a tap room, food truck venue. And when you do that, it's a change of use. So zoning's the same, it's commercial zoning, still falls under the same zoning codes, but the use is different. So since it's going from a garage to a restaurant kind of, event center, I guess you could call it, everything needs to be brought up to code. And when everything needs to be brought up to code, then you need architects. And when you need architects on a commercial building, you need commercial architects that know what they're doing, uh, who know all the codes, and then can check with the, you know, the fire chief and everything else that needs to get done in order to turn this building into an old garage, into a nice tap room. Thankfully, we have that. We, we have the architect and the builder, but everything is just all prep work, so. Measure twice, cut once, I suppose, in a way. But if you guys are planning on biting off a, a project like this, just prepare to be patient because patience really is a virtue. These things take time. But man, I just can't wait to look at this video hopefully a year or two from now and just be like, wow, what a beautiful thing we did here. Look how, look at that. That old tree's gonna need to come down, I'm sure. But it's just such a cool building and such a cool location and such a great little town. So there's your update. It's not much of one. I wish I could show you. Uh, I'll definitely put some imagery that the designer came up with. But we're chugging along and uh, I figured you guys just don't want to see a bunch of videos of me calling people. It's probably pretty boring. So until then, you guys have a great one. And uh, I, again, I appreciate everybody who's watching. See ya.